Hello, it's Nathan here from the photography team. Since posting my review of the Canon EF 24-70 f4L IS USM lens, I've had a few questions on image quality, uh, in particular at 50mm. Now, there have been some reviews which have stated that this lens is soft at 50mm, wide open. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through a few images images that I've taken with this lens at various weddings I'm going to have uh, I'm going to show some images from three focal lengths firstly 24 millimeters then I'm going to jump to 50 millimeters and then I'm going to go to 70 millimeters just going to show a few images zoom in one to one and just see how um, how sharp this lens is personally I've had no problems with this lens I think it's a great lens um, image, stabilis image stabilization is good. Um, gives you about four stops of uh, image stabilization. I haven't had a problem with it. What we're going to do first is using the metadata tag. <coughs> excuse me, using the metadata tab in Lightroom. Um, going to click 24 millimeters. What this will do is this will just bring up all images that I've shot with the 24 to lens at 24mm. Okay, I'm just going to find a uh, few images as here. So these are at 24mm, these are obviously wide open. Okay, so here's a um, wide angle shot uh, inside a church. This was shot at 150th of the second, so the image stabilisation was uh, ideal in this situation shot at f4 nice and sharp uh, wide open at 24 millimeters I'll just zoom in uh, one to one on the altar there we go nice and sharp uh, not a problem there mm, there's a little bit of grain but it was shot on a mark 2 at ISO 800 um, but no perfectly happy with that let's, uh, let's have another a look at another shot Okay, here's a group shot outside. Um, I mean, this one is at f8, but um, for a wide-angled uh, shot at 24 millimeters, I'll just use this as an, ex as an example. One two fifty of the second, so shouldn't have any problems with sharpness. But like you see, uh, 24 millimeters, nice, uh, nice image. Little bit of distortion on the left-hand um, edge. Okay, let's go into one to one. And there we go, one to one, uh, wide ang wide open wide shot at 24 millimeters, nice and sharp, no problems there. Okay, we'll just have a look at one more. <clears throat> okay, here's another shot at uh, 24 millimeters. Again, it's on the 5D Mark II. Uh, this time it is wide open at f4. Lovely sharp image wide open there. Um, let's zoom in. So there we go, one to one. Again, lovely and sharp. Nothing wrong with that at 24 millimeters. Okay, let's go back to the. Um, metadata and we'll have a look for some 50 millimeter um, shots okay so again 50 millimeter back into the develop module I'll find a uh, number of images and we'll, uh, we'll have a look Okay, here's an image shot at 50 millimeters, um, wide open at f4, inside, um, using a flash. 50 millimeters, that's fine. 
zoom in one to one, I would have focused on the gentleman's face. There we go, perfectly sharp, not an issue there, um, happy with that. I wouldn't say that was soft, I said I would say that at 50 millimeters, that's fine. Let's take a look at, look at another uh, image. Okay, here's another image taken outside at f4. Um, again, at 50 millimeters, that's fine. Let's uh, zoom in one to one. Again, that's fine. That, no problem with that. I'd say they're sharp. Move into the other groom's face. No, I'm happy with that. No, I'm very happy with that. I, it's sharp. It's not soft. Go to one more image at 50 millimeters. Okay, here's another one, just a quick snap. Um, the groom in the middle, obviously at 50 millimeters, f4, a little bit of depth of field. The subjects that are closer to the lens are obviously out of focus, but he's lovely and sharp. We'll just go one to one in on his face, and again. That's that's sharp. There's there's no issue there. There's no I can't see any softness in that image. I'm totally happy with that. Okay, let's now go to <clears throat> seventy millimeter. We'll just have a look at a few images at that focal uh, range. Okay, here's another image at, shot at uh, 70 millimeters. It was shot at f/8, but we'll use this as an example. Not a problem at 70 millimeters. Wide open. Let's zoom in one to one. There we go. Not a problem with that image. That's fine. 70 millimeters. That's sharp. Let's have a look at another one. Okay, here's another one, 70 millimeters. This time it was shot wide open at f4. Uh, but fine. Let's zoom in. Uh, zoom in on this eye. This is one to one. Yeah, that's sharp. Not a problem with that. And that was shot only at uh, one sixtieth of a second, so IS is uh, coming to play there. I'll just look at one more. So okay, here's um, is one final image. Um, bride, obviously, have no hair done. Um, Seventy millimeters again. F four wide open. ISO four hundred. Nice and sharp. Let's go one to one. And again, that's fine. There's no issue with that. I'm totally happy. So to conclude then, I'm perfectly happy with the lens um, at all focal ranges. Um, to me, 24mm uh, appears to be the sharpest, but this complaint of softness at 50mm, I haven't found that, you know, at 50mm, 70mm, 
totally happy with, with the quality of the images that it produces. Um, I've used it for numerous weddings now and I'm getting perfectly uh, perfectly good shots with it. Not, a, not an issue. And the IS is very handy when, we sh when you shoot in low light. Okay, if, uh, if you'd like to know anything else about this lens um, then please use the comments box below. If you haven't already, please um, subscribe to our channel and uh, and click the like button. Thank you for watching. This is Nathan from the photography team.